Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install Active Desktop Update on a non-English version of Windows 95 and this way also, also works on a non-English version of Windows NT4. First you're going to do is you need to connect to the internet because you need to download some files. Second you're gonna do is make sure you install Internet Explorer 5 and you must be have the correct language of your operating system for Internet Explorer to get active, win active desktop update. If you did that, make sure you install Internet Explorer 5 see Internet Explorer 5 um, if you work on VMware, because I have VMware Workstation, see right here, you must be have to you must have installed the correct drivers to get on the internet. I will show you which drivers they are. Go to your device manager. Is the A and D PC Net family Ethernet adapter the extern access adapter and the PCE fast internet DCA DAC chip 21140 based adapter you see this little yellow thing but that's nothing it's just a, a drive failure but we still get on the internet and that's what we need what we gonna do is we need to know where the files are of Internet Explorer 5. So I made a directory on my C drive. You see this uh, Explorer is really crap. I made a directory of IE5. And these are, in that folder are my files stored. What? So, let's get started. We need to open our command prompt. And in Windows 95 it's the MS-DOS prompt, but I say comment prompt. We're gonna browse to the folder where our Internet Explorer 5 files are stored. So just CD IE5. So now we are on the directory. And then you need to paste this comment. IE5 setup.exe C double point IE5 wizard, that's because you need to start a wizard. E means for extract on Windows, slash I, that means for install, and an other I, and that means for yes. So we're going to press the enter key. And this really requires an internet connection. If you don't get connected to the internet yet, Please, uh, please turn on your network card and restart uh, your computer, be or else it won't work. So I'm gonna close that. It says, "Welcome to the setup for Internet Explorer and Internet Work Set." So we're gonna accept a license agreement and we click next. All right, let's gonna try. Okay, it says install update for Windows desktop. It could take a while. So, um, oh, there we go. There we go. Well, problem is, I had to uh, insert my ISO of Internet Explorer 5. And the ISO of Internet Explorer 5. These files I got them from my CD from Microsoft Office 2000 Professional or Premium or whatever you call it. Okay, still installing. Ah, oh, there you go. It wants me to restart the computer. 
So I'm gonna restart uh, this machine and I'm pause it. Be right back when it's rebooted. Um, let's see. Pause. Okay, machine is being rebooted. I'm gonna log in. It's doing something. I'm pretty sure. Okay, guys. Um, I thought it would never be uh, completed, but so here we are, the active desktop. So we now got it. We got those uh, quick launch bar buttons. We've got the log off button. And if we go to my computer, you see it really improved itself. No, no more those funky keys, those funky buttons, which are really crap. They really suck. So this is the improved um, desktop update. So this will add also. So, and if we go to the properties of our desktop, it's not anymore. You cannot choose uh, for two things, but just for one. And that's really, that's nice. And if we start Internet Explorer, we no longer have that splash screen of Internet Explorer 5, 5.5 .5 or for Windows NT, it might be in the Dead Explorer 6. So, you see it really improves itself. So, I hope you helped us out. And thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.